Youth grow up in a community. And if we want to see young people really thrive and reach their potential, we got to act like a community. This event is Youth Prize Annual Youth Summit. We do it once a year, and the idea is to bring young people together with adults. And it's also, for us, the beginning of building a movement of people working with youth on behalf of youth to do something bigger. One workshop is called The Art of Conducting and is really showing how the orchestra works and it's really addressing the careers that you can explore. Today with the Youth Prize Summit taking place here at beautiful Orchestra Hall, we're working together to talk about youth and adults working in concert. With over 250 people in attendance at this summit, um, it's thrilling for me to see who's new to us, who's new to the orchestra, and I'm excited to see all those different ways that we could, we could help open the doors and bring people in. So the breakout sessions is really looking at the complexity of bringing two pieces that are different to make a complete whole. We're gonna just say the, the, the we have um, expertise coming in from Chicago, expertise from New York, expertise from Detroit. You know, so there's this opportunity for four different strong urban communities to really learn from each other and to stay in touch with each other. So our keynote is Roberto Rivera and David Rojas from the Good Life Organization in Chicago. My whole life, I believed I was learning disabled or learning deficient. And I realized I'm not learning deficient, I'm writing plays. I'm putting together these festivals. I learn differently. And so I started applying that to school. You know, there's a passing of the baton going on. <coughs> that in order for this race to really be run, it's not just a marathon where you're in the same position for 30 years, that our organizations will not reach their potential without the consistent input of youth. Being here, it's a safe space. You, you can feel it. And I feel like that's, that's fundamental to being in an open discussion, right? So if you don't feel um, comfortable in the space, then you won't be able to um, be you. And that's exactly what we want in, in, in this type of environment. We want you to be you. I was invited to be on a panel today about um, different careers in the arts. Um, I'm now an artistic director, but I started as an actor. And art started as a hobby, so I just kind of told my story to a group of people who were wondering about how, how can you have a career in the arts. I think the Youth Summit is important to in, inspire youth to follow their path, to find their most authentic voice, and to, to be supported by um, folks who have a connection to the past and have learned from experience. But not to really set the path for them, but to inspire them to find their own journey and their own path. I just really want everybody to really that's here to realize that the work that they're doing with youth is important and that everybody here has the same goals. I'm meeting other new people who work with youth, telling them my experiences as a youth and working with adults, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, um, and then applying that to my work that I do and then giving other people resources as well. That interaction um, has potential growth for everybody who's involved, not only the student but also the person who's talking to them and there's so much to gain from young people and the energy and the passion that they bring into it. Our vision for the summit is that it's the start of something and not the end of something.